What's up, Sneaky Nation? Sneaky P here, back with week number five of our Oakland Raiders franchise, now the Los Angeles Crusaders. And we are in a rematch against our division rival, the Denver Broncos. This is an important game for a few reasons. Most importantly, it's a division game. You know, we got the early up on the Broncos with the first game of the season, but they're definitely looking for revenge right now, and they are at home. Not an easy task. Uh, but secondly, we just changed our sliders around. I know a lot of people said they aren't going to affect the game until I import them from the main screen. Uh, I recorded this before I heard all of that. But we're going to go ahead and give it a shot anyway. Kind of see how it goes. Kicking us off now, let's see what happens with this game as we have a rainy one today, which I'm kind of excited about. So returning the ball up past the 20-yard line, up to about the 23-yard line, the Crusaders and Derek Carr are going to take over. Maurice Jones drew right off the bat, a six-yard catch there. Jones drew up the left side of the field, a nice run. This is our first game without Devron Golden. It's going to be interesting to see how we can react and perform today. Bobby Stevenson with a nice grab there. Third and eight now for the Crusaders, though, and a terrible pass by Derek Carr. That will give the Broncos the ball. Peyton Manning on the first play finds Ward, the rookie, for a six-yard gain. Peyton Manning in the pocket this time. Looking down the left side of the field, wide open, Emmanuel Sanders. A breakdown in coverage. There's one defender who might be able to get him. No such luck for the Crusaders. And just like that, the Broncos will jump out to a 7-0 lead. Early sliders have me worried early on here, guys. Wow, Denarius Moore with the grab. He is going to have a nice gain there of about 7 yards. Third and one, Maurice Jones drew up the middle. A nice run. He takes it up to the 47-yard line. Derek Carr on the right side is going to find Isaac Cosby going going down the right side of the field and that is a great game down to the Broncos 30 yard line Derek Carr the Crusaders trying to respond that one is almost intercepted though second and 10 now for Derek Carr on the left side finds Bobby Stevenson that's good for seven yards third and three Jones Drew picks up the first down great effort by the veteran there first and 10 now and the wide receiver slipped and bounced off the corners back there and the Crusaders got lucky. Third and 10 now. Flag on the play. And another errant pass by Derek Carr here early on. Third and 20. They decided to uh, accept the penalty instead of taking the fourth down. And with that sack, this is a very long field goal. One that Janikowski will not be able to make. So that holding penalty cost us three points there. Uh, especially, you know, after giving up the uh, sack on the next play. But Prince Amukamara on the very next play will make a catch to give the Crusaders the ball back. Great interception. That's his second time this season picking off Peyton Manning. He did in week one as well. Denarius Moore up the right side gains nine yards, second and inches. Maurice Jones drew with room to work with across midfield to Bronco territory at the 49-yard line. Play action for Derek Carr. He's trying to scramble. He fumbles the ball, but luckily the Crusaders jump on it. And recover there. Second and 15 for Derek Carr. Pressure's coming. And Armonte Edwards with a nice grab. Only picks up a few yards there. But that's third and 11 for the Crusaders. And Isaac Cosby with a great catch. First and 10 on the Broncos. 38-yard line. Now Denarius Moore will pick up a first down. Down to the 28-yard line. First and 10. And McGee. The rookies are really starting to play big in this game. You know, they're getting a lot more opportunities with all the injuries that we have. And Reese Jones drew another first down carry there on the right side. McGee, he takes it down to the 11-yard line. Second and five for the Crusaders. Into the end zone. Denarius Moore, touchdown for the Crusaders. That will be a tie ball game, 7-7. Seven to seven. And a lot of poise shown by Derek Carr. A lot of great plays from some of the rookies. And then obviously the veteran Denarius Moore, who's having a great season early on here, making the play. Justin Tuck is going to get his first sack of the game. Second and 16, Peyton Manning finds Thomas. A little spin move. That will take him up to the 27-yard line again of about 13. But it's third and three, and Hillman will pick up the first down. There is a flag on the play. We're going to have to wait and see what this is. Hopefully it's a holding. I think it is, and that's coming back. Third and 11 now for Peyton Manning on the right side. Not good enough. For a first down, first and 10 for the Crusaders as they take over. Maurice Jones-Drew will pick up about six, second and four for Derek Carr. Pressure is coming, and he is going down to Marcus Ware on the sack. Bobby Stevenson, not enough for a first down. So Peyton Manning and the Broncos taking back over. Thomas on the right side. He's going to get pushed out of bounds at about the 20-yard line, a 12-yard reception there. First and 10, wide open. Another completed pass for Peyton Manning here. Second and three now. Hillman runs into a wall of Crusaders there. It's going to be third and one. Peyton Manning in the pocket on the left side. Thomas wide open up to the 41-yard line. First and ten now. Hillman gets taken down right off the bat. Vimy Francois making the play. Second and 13. Thomas another reception 
Uh, third and two now. Anderson not good enough for a first down. He lost four in the play. So the Crusaders taking back over here, trying to get some momentum going to take a lead. Maurice Jones-Drew having a great day running the ball so far. 65 yards already to Anthony Thomas. Nowhere to go there. It's going to be second and nine. The Anthony Thomas again on the right side. He's going to pick up about... Five yards there. Third and four. That's going to get batted down. So Peyton Manning with a little under five minutes to go. Fumbles the ball. Bell recovers. But this is going to be a safety. A huge play from the Crusaders there. The force is safety. Get two points. We will get the ball back with four minutes and 44 seconds to go. Unbelievable play by the defense there. I wish we would have recovered the fumble. No such luck. But uh, we do have the ball and trying to extend the lead now as DeAnthony Thomas is now out with the broken collarbone. The injuries are piling up and you see Murray into the game. A 12-yard run with his first carry. Denary, or I'm sorry, McGee making a grab now into Bronco territory to the 39-yard line. Jones Strew will pick up the first down, down to the 37. Another handoff to Murray here on the left side. He's going to pick up three yards, second and seven. I thought he would have gotten a little more than that. But Denarius Moore with a huge grab down to the 15-yard line. And this is a great opportunity right now for the Crusaders to really make this a two-possession game. If we can get a touchdown here, second and three. Pressure's coming. Derek Carr's going down. It's going to be a big third down play for us with 23 seconds to go. Third and 13. Armani Edwards cannot hold on to the ball. Janikowski will not miss this time. And make the score 12 to 7 with 16 seconds to go. Not a two possession game, not even really a one possession game. If they score a touchdown, they have the lead just like that. But we do have the lead against the Broncos going into halftime. That's something to be proud of. Our offense, I hope we can step it up a little bit in the second half. Overall, we're playing pretty good, though, considering we're on the road. We're battling a lot of injuries right now. The sliders through the first half. I don't know. Peyton Manning has only thrown one incompletion. That was that interception. We're going to have to keep an eye on that. But he's Peyton Manning. He's more than capable of doing that anyway. Um, negative seven rushing yards for them. That's pretty crazy. We haven't gotten a whole lot of sacks, so that's good. Um, but, yeah, I'll see you in the second half, guys. All right, back in the second half, the Broncos are going to start off with the ball. Hillman on the right side, nowhere to go there. Second and 10, another handoff, and he's going to gain some yards this time up to the 26. Third and four now for the Broncos on the right side. Sanders has the catch, but not enough for the first down. So the Crusaders are going to take back over here, trying to extend this five-point lead. Cosby, another nice catch for him. He's had a pretty solid day for us filling in. And a miscommunication with Maurice Jones through there. That will fall incomplete. And Bobby Stevenson jumping up in the air to catch a pretty errant pass. That looked a little bit high for him. Uh, but he made the play as Murray on the left side. A great run. This is coming back with a holding call, though. Uh, but Murray is doing a pretty good job filling in for a fourth string running back. I'm very happy with him right now. Third and 23 now for the Crusaders, though. And Cosby with a huge play past midfield all the way down to the Broncos' 46-yard line. And that is exactly what you love to see from a rookie wide receiver in a long third down play. But Derek Carr, another horrible pass there. I don't know what's going on with him as Marcel Reese runs for the first down there. Uh, at the 31-yard line, we are in scoring territory. Maurice jones is going to run it for three there. Second and seven on the right side. Jared Cook, been a little bit quiet today, but he makes a grab there. Third and seven, and this is to Denarius Moore for another first down. The veteran has stepped up big time with all the injuries in place right now. Uh, gains two yards there. Second and eight on the right side. Bobby Stevenson, another first down for the Crusaders. First and goal to the end zone. Almost intercepted. Jared Cook slipped. And I don't know how the Broncos did not make an interception there. The Crusaders lucked out as Jared Cook cannot hold on to that one. And now Denarius Moore is hurt. They pile on third and goal into the end zone. Bobby Stevenson, the rookie, touchdown for the Crusaders. And they have extended the lead. But players are running thin at this point, guys. All of our guys are getting hurt. Uh, we are down in great numbers right now. First and 10 for the Broncos, 19-7 lead for the Crusaders. They need to hold on as Hillman is just breaking every tackle known to man. And now DJ Hayden is hurt as well. Oh, they pile on. This is crazy. All of our guys are getting hurt right now. And the Broncos, you know, they're going to try to capitalize on this. Hillman's starting to step his game up, breaking a lot more tackles right now. He's playing with a little more... Uh, you know, energy as Latimer makes the catch. First and 10, Peyton Manning, and he finds a wide open Julius Thomas. That's good down to the 33-yard line of Crusader territory. 
Now Latimer is going to make a catch. He's going to take it down to the 22-yard line, making it another first down. Hillman on the left side down to about the 16-yard line, second and four. If we can hold him to a field goal here, but no such luck as Ward makes an incredible catch. The rookie playing great for Peyton Manning. And now Thomas into the end zone. Touchdown, uh, Demarius Thomas making the play here. And that will give the Broncos 14 points now. So they're right back into this game. It's only a five-point game. Peyton Manning is more than capable of throwing a touchdown pass and winning the game here. So it's going to be important we take time off of this clock and hopefully, hopefully get at least a field goal here. Uh, to extend our lead, Murray up the middle, nowhere to go, only picked up two, second and eight. Maurice Jones-Drew on the right side. It's going to be a big third down play here, third and five. And Armonte Edwards holds on for an incredible first down catch. Murray up the middle, fighting for those extra yards. Got to love it from the young guy. Maurice Jones-Drew on the right side is going to pick up a few more. Jones-Drew will run it into Bronco territory for the first down, but he fumbles the ball, and Smith jumps on it for the Broncos. That is a huge turnover, and just like that, the Broncos have the ball back in Ward right off the bat. The rookie receiver playing great. Peyton Manning, 16 of 17. His only incompletion being that interception. Demarius Thomas making a grab down the right side of the field. First and 10 on the left side. This is going to the end zone. I believe that's Julius Thomas. It is down to the two-yard line. And now Tyvon Branch is hurt. This is ridiculous. All of our guys are, we're going to be playing with a bunch of bench players here as Hillman jumps over the pile into the end zone. Touchdown for the Broncos. And they have recaptured the lead here 20 to 19 after the field goal. It's going to be 21 tonight. Or they're going for two. I'm sorry. And to the end zone, Ward touched or two point converged, not touchdown. You know, they have a three point lead 22 to 19. Stevenson almost makes an incredible one handed catch, but gets laid out. Broncos. Defense is stepping it up big time. Armani Edwards picks up two there. And now McGee with a nice grab up to the 46-yard line. Six minutes to go. Crusaders down by three. The screen pass fails miserably. A loss of three yards. Second and 13. Armani Edwards is not going to be able to hold on to that. This is a huge third down play here. Third and 13 for the Crusaders. And McGee makes a grab. It's not enough for the first down. And we are going to punt the ball away, try to get a three and out here, but Hillman is having none of it. He runs right up the left side, a gain of 18 yards there. Justin Tuck with a nice tackle on Anderson, negative six yards on two carries for him. Peyton Manning in the pocket. He is going down, a sack by Khalil Mack there. And it's going to bring up third and 18 for the Crusaders. If we can get the ball back here, we might have a shot. Peyton Manning avoiding the sacks. He throws the ball away. 18 of 20, only a second incompletion of the day there. Uh, nice job to avoid the sack. That one's going to get batted down. Second and 10 now for Derek Carr. And the pocket on the right side finds Bobby Stevenson who drops the ball. He had it. That was a huge first down. But the rookie is not going to be able to hold on to that pass. And now Jared Cook fumbles it. It's going to be fumbles the catch, not the ball. Uh, play action. Peyton Manning on the left side. Williams. It's going to be a big play here for the Crusaders if they can force a three and out. But Thomas is having none of it. And the Crusaders' chances are slimming out with each first down here as Hillman runs it up the left side. Picks up seven, second and three. Anderson nowhere to go. Femi Francois with the stop. Third and two. Hillman untouched past the first down marker. And that could be the game as the Crusaders are out of timeouts. Now all the Broncos have to do is waste this clock out. And they will do just that. So... A disappointing loss. You know, we had all the opportunities in the world, but injuries have destroyed us. We lost so many players in this game. We've lost Devrin Golden and uh, Shakir Gaten before this game. And I am frankly kind of worried. You know, we only lost by three in Denver with all of these injuries. That's really promising for this young team to kind of hang in there against one of the NFL's best. Uh, on the road, in the rain, on a primetime game no less. So that's pretty cool, but the Broncos scored 15 unanswered points in the fourth quarter to win the game. Peyton Manning is certainly capable of that. With the slider, something we're going to have to look out for. Peyton Manning only threw two interceptions. Again, I said it earlier, though, it's Peyton Manning. He is more than capable of having a game like that. So I'm going to give these sliders one more shot next week. We'll see how they go. Um, sacks were a lot more realistic. I think we only got two or three throughout the whole game. Uh, as opposed to 9 or 10 like we've been getting. So that that's actually kind of evened out a little bit more. I'm okay with that. Um, but we are going to have to look into uh, the passing next game. We'll get a better feel for it as I think we are taking on the Lions. I forget. We'll, we'll wait and see on that. But, yeah, only three sacks for us. So that's a lot more realistic. Um, 
But with the sliders, we'll, we'll give it another week, see how that goes. And if not, I have an idea. If not, I'm just going to import a new set of sliders from uh, Operation Sports, probably. We'll see how that goes. But thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time. Later.